going to talk about the potential for storms and that'll happen on Thursday. Now as early as Wednesday night, but Thursday's when we're looking at the potential for some strong storms, large hail damaging winds. The main concern most of North Texas under a slight risk. That's a level two out of five for the likelihood of strong to severe storms. Again, this will likely be Thursday afternoon, but we will likely see rain starting before then. It stays dry today. It stays dry tomorrow, but Wednesday night we'll start to see some of that rain moving in. It becomes a bit more widespread. Highest coverage happens Thursday. It'll still linger Thursday night into Friday. Right now we're not seeing much of anything out there. It's a beautiful day, but that'll change come Wednesday late in the day. I'm showing you here 7 p.m. on your Wednesday. You see that cloud cover rolling in and then you'll start to see that rain piling in. So this will happen closer towards 4 or 5 in the morning around 7 in the morning. That rain will still be pretty scattered. But after that, we'll start to see that rain kind of increase in coverage, especially for the western half of North Texas. This is showing you noon on Thursday, but look at what happens in the afternoon. You start to see some of those brighter colors indicating not only the heavier rain, but likely also the potential for some isolated strong storms. This is now Thursday around 7 p.m. And look at that. We have pretty decent coverage of rain across North Texas. We'll continue to see that to really thin out Thursday night and into Friday. Now on Friday, I think we we will still see some scattered activity, but I don't think we'll see high rainfall amounts on Friday. In fact, most of us can go all day Friday and not see any rain at all. Thursday is the day to be watching, though. Uh, as far as how much rain we could see, I'm thinking close to about one inch of rainfall for Tarrant, Dallas County, even Denton and Collin County, slightly below one inch. South of DFW, getting closer to two inches. Johnson, Ellis, Navarro County, looking at you, likely seeing some heavier rain in your direction, some higher rainfall totals, especially towards the southeast, closer towards the I-45 corridor and heading towards Houston. Now, right now, like I said, beautiful day, 75 degrees. We're looking at a blue sky overhead right now at DFW 77. It feels like 79, so there is a small heat index out there, but we do have a northwest West wind in place and when that happens generally that's bringing in drier air that's making it feel a little bit more comfortable for us because we're dealing with less humidity the pollen oak and grass at a moderate so if you're spending some time outside that's something to consider the temperature still has room to grow 84 degrees expected around 3 86 degrees around 5 I am expecting the temperature to climb for tomorrow, but most of us sitting in the mid 80s today. That's only a couple of degrees higher than what's considered normal for this time of the year. I'm here to say I think we'll make it to 90 degrees tomorrow and because of that southerly wind, I think we'll also feel the humidity kicking up just a tad. Now temperature not quite as warm on Thursday because of that added rain and cloud cover in the area 83 on Friday and this weekend it does look a little bit drier. I think we'll still have humidity, but I think the rain will be hard to come by temperature getting very close to about 90 degrees come Saturday and Sunday. Next week, I've got several 90s in the forecast, but also the potential for some rain late in the week. And as we head into Memorial Day weekend uh, here, it does look like we see temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. We may be dodging a few showers and thunderstorms. So if you have any plans to be outdoors, maybe hitting up some of the lakes, uh, definitely make sure to have a backup plan and keep uh, tuning back in because we'll get a better idea of the coverage of rain uh, as we get closer to Memorial Day weekend.